Hello friends, I hope your preparation for this year's competitive exams is going in the right direction. Today, I am here to discuss one of the basic topics of percentage which is although very important. Why? Because I don't think it is a topic, actually it is a concept which is used in many topics right from profit and loss, simple and compound interest, even geometry and permutation probability. So the basic motive of today's lecture is to make you understand some basic concepts through which we can handle some typical and time consuming problems with a bit of smart work. So let's have a particular problem. Now here in this problem a person increases the price of his goods by 10% and then on the next day, realizing he'll incur a loss, he reduces it by 10%. Now here in this problem, a person increases the price of his goods by 10% and then on realizing that it will affect his sales, he reduces it by 10% on the very next day. And he follows this process of increasing on one day and then decreasing on the another day indefinitely. Now the question is on which day for the first time will he incur a loss of more than 10%. Now here we people if we apply one basic concept which we have already learned in the basic classes that an increase of same percentage say x and then a decrease of same percentage x always results in x square upon 100 percent decrease. So in this particular case the percentage given is 10 percent. So 10 percent increase on first day and 10 percent decrease on second day will result in 10 square upon 100 that is 1 percent decrease after a cycle of two days. So we can also say that it becomes 0.99. Now the problem is after how many cycles of these 0.99 will have a result of loss more than 10 percent for the first time. Now if we check for two such cycles that is 0.99 into 0.99 the square of 99 being 9801 so we realize the net effect is not 2% but less than that as the second reduction of 1% is not on 100 but on 99 so therefore we need one more cycle of 0.99 to reduce it by more than 2%. Now for our problem we need a reduction of more than 10%. So we need one more cycle than 10 that is 11 cycles of 0.99 to reduce it by more than 10%. Now 11 cycles of 2 days basically means 11 into 2 that is 22 days after we started. Say supposing we started on a Sunday and then on Monday he reduces the price by 10% and so on. So now 22nd day will again happen on Sunday itself when for the first time he incurs a loss of more than 10%. Now that was it friends. I hope you understood the concept and I have applied such smart work in many more problems on percentage which you can have in my next video on percentage and that was happy learning from hitbullseye.com. Thank you.